Kyle Larson, and you're watching the ACS. Give me fuel, give me fire, give me that which I desire. Hello and welcome to the Fremont Motor Park on this wonderful Veterans Day in Fremont, Indiana near the Yogi Bear Campground where this racetrack has been raced at since Season 2 each and every year and we come back once again for Season 10. Now check out your ACS drivers to watch for Chase Elliott, winner of this race in Season 9. He's also on the pole for today's race, so obviously Chase Elliott has a strong Napa Chevrolet once again. Kevin Harvick, it's time to rebound after last week's disappointing crash in the late stages of the Aflac 200. Happy was not so happy after getting taken out after having a possible winning car. And speaking of the winning car, that's Martin Shurich Jr. He's the top dog of the Aflac Cup Series early on in the series as he has the first strike of the season with a win in the Aflac 200. And it's some issues for Penske Racing. Brad Kozlowski, one of them, engine issues, and Joey Logano had some really bad issues in qualifying. Now we're going to take you track side for the command of today's race. Drivers, start your engines. And there it is. The drivers respond and roar to life and begin to roll off here for 15 laps in the Code Red 200. Now for your starting lineup. In row one, today's race, last season's winner, Chase Elliott to his outside the Rocket Man, Ryan Newman. In row two, Kurt Bush and Ryan Blaney. And in row three, we have Kevin Happy Harvick next to Rowdy Kyle Bush. And in row four, Daniel Hemrick and the other Daniel, Daniel Suarez. Row five, Martin Shurex Jr. to his outside, Clint Boyer. And in row six, it's Paul Menard to the outside, Kyle Larson. Row seven for today's race, William Byron and Eric Jones. Row eight, you'll find Chris Busher and the seven-time champion, two-time Athletic Cup Series champion, Jimmy Johnson. Row nine, we have Alex Bowman and Matt DiBenedetto. Row 10, Denny Hamlin starting deep in the field to his outside, Bryce Harvey. Row 11 will be Carter Adelman and Ryan Priest. In row 12, Jimmy Lanya and Eric Almarola. Row 13 for today's race, Austin Dillon and Joey Logano, like we mentioned earlier, Logano has some problems in qualifying. And row 14, Ricky Stenhouse Jr. and his outside, Camden Luca. And then the round rounding up the field in row 15 is Daryl Wallace and Brad Kozlowski had to go to the back. Today's race, we've got sunny skies, high of 75 degrees, check temperature is 90. Stage 1 equals 5 laps, and the final stage, stage 2, is 10 laps. Remember, mandatory pit stops after stage 1. Tires are crucial here at Fremont. We'll see how the pits do it, but we're going to go green here early on in the Code Red 200. Chase Elliott gets a great jump on the field. He'll take the lead going down the backstretch. Kurt Busch is going to climb with the second, and Ryan Blaney's on the attack for third on Ryan Newman. But meanwhile, Kurt Busch is closing in on the race lead already on lap 2. Looks like Kurt Busch might have a great race car as they head up through three and four. Looking to the inside is Kurt Busch. He'll take that lead easily. Looks like Chase Elliott is just going to let him go too early in this race to be fighting like that. But remember, precious stage points are on the line here. Chase Elliott, you can get one stage playoff point for finishing second, three playoff points for finishing first in a stage as these cars roll through three and four. Meanwhile, Kurt Busch has that lead with two laps to go. And Ryan Newman starting to chase down Chase Elliott. The final lap in stage one is underway, and Ryan Newman's gonna look to the inside of Elliott. He's got it, but he overdrives three and four. Here comes Elliott to the inside. He'll grab that as Kurt Busch wins stage one. Hammer comes across the line fifth, and Paul Menard's gonna grab that last stage point. Look at that, Kurt Busch. First stage win of the year for that number one team. And there it is, Kurt Busch finishing first in that stage, presented by Skittles. Chase Elliott second, Ryan Newman third, Ryan Blaney finishes fourth, Hamrick fifth, Kevin Harvick sixth, Suarez seventh, William Byron eighth, Kyle Busch ninth, and Paul Menard with a nice tenth place finish there in stage one. Now here come your mandatory pit stops. Kurt Busch is going to lead the field down pit road, as you see they're all coming in this time. Remember, Ryan Newman stayed out last week. Now Kurt Busch, he had a great car in stage one. They're going to put on... Two sets of tires there for that number one car, and they're off away. Here comes Kyle Busch. Elliott's going to take four. They 
Chase Elliott complained that he needed just a little bit more on that run, and he's going to lose a lot of positions, eight, matter of fact, as they all rocket down pit road. But we do have a penalty, and that is Martin Truex Jr. He is too fast exiting pit road. He will go to the tail end of the longest line, which is last place currently because there are no lap race cars. So now the final stage is ready to get underway. Kurt Busch was the winner off pit road. He'll take the outside lane on this restart. We'll see how that goes for him, and Grief Hike is in the air. Oh, he gets a really bad launch there as Kyle Busch's brother is going to go off into the lead. Look at that. Ryan Newman's going to take advantage of this, too. He's going to get up to second, but Suarez is going to take care of him easily as he moves into second place. Now here comes Kurt Busch trying to climb back through the field. Remember, Kyle Busch took zero tires. Oh, and Suarez gets it to the back of him. Busch slides. He saves it. What a save for that Snickers creamy Toyota. So Kyle Busch is losing many positions. You see those no tires are not paying off too much for that 18 team. But meanwhile, we got a battle for the race lead. It's Daniel Suarez versus Kurt Busch. And sees, oh, we got a caution out. They crash and turn three and four. Oh, and the De, 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 De Benedetto into the inside pit wall there. Caution on the racetrack. That's gonna bring out the red flag big time because yeah, the whole front stretch is clogged up there coming off of turn four. Looks like Ryan Blaney got turned here by Paul Menard. Now check that out at the top of the screen there. Blaney gets hooked. Menard goes in front of the field, collects Johnson, Bowman, and then uh, De Benedetto gets pinched there and actually flips onto his side and into the inside wall. He got out of his car. He's fine. Eric Jones, nowhere to go. Look at Eric Camarola. Slam on the brakes. Brake check for the 10 team. He slips by. And right there is where De Benedetto just had nowhere to go. Logano into the back of him. And then Eric Camarola. Nice. Good job, Eric Camarola. <laughs> just missing that one. But that's a hard impact for Blaney as well there. Nose first into the inside wall. Same for Jimmy Johnson. Uh, Paul Menard is a sitting duck. Nowhere to go. He's getting uh, beat around, but and Eric Jones comes into this one late. So, Alex Bowman gets the hook. So does Joey Logano. That mess up in qualifying didn't really pay off for him. Jimmy Johnson on the hook. Eric Jones is Matt DiBenedetto's car getting flipped over. Paul Menard and then Ryan Blaney. So now we have a big restart coming up. Kurt Busch has a leak, and Kurt Busch maintained the race lead this time. As last time, he lost the race lead on the restart. Green flag is back in the air. This time, Bush gets a great launch on the field. He'll have that top spot coming off a of turn two, but here comes Suarez and Elliott making it three wide. Chase Elliott has those four fresh good years on that machine. Can he make some noise? Here comes Kevin Harvick as Stuart Haas runs one two with five laps remaining in Fremont. Kevin Harvick looking for the race lead. Remember, we talked about him. He wants redemption after last week. He felt he had a winning car, and he got wrecked out, and now Kevin Harvick to the race lead. He overshots turn one, though, and then here comes Suarez taking the race lead right back. Kurt Busch will take that second spot from Harvick as they battle for a second coming off of turn four. Oh, we got a little flyby. There's Kyle Busch losing some spots with those uh, old tires on that machine. And Chase Elliott with four fresh good years, like we said. Probably starting to wear off a little bit now. Suarez is building that lead as we come up with two laps to go here in Fremont. Kurt Busch and Chase Elliott really battling for second place right now as Suarez is walking away with this race. Elliott looks low in turn four. Oh, and he gets in the cart. Caution's out. Coming to the white flag for Suarez. Oh, my goodness. Kurt Busch, the second place driver, just gets spun out by Chase Elliott. We all know Kurt Busch is not going to be too delighted as Chevy drivers take each other out. Well, not really take each other out. Chase Elliott will drive on. But he takes out Kurt Busch for some odd reason there. Looks like Chase Elliott's car might have got a little tight there uh, as he tried to really cut it. And then he realized, I know it looks bad. It looks like Chase Elliott really intentionally turned him. I think Chase Elliott realized he was spinning out and he tried to dodge him by going high. That looks like he looked like he turned him. But from my angle, it looks like Chase Elliott really just tried to get out of the way. So not the caution Suarez wanted to see, but there is one. And he's got to defend that race lead going for his second career win in the Affleck Cup Series. He gets a healthy push from his teammate Harvick. Suarez to the race lead coming off a of turn two. He's got it. Here comes Kyle Larson out of nowhere. Kyle Larson and McDonald's driving. Oh, we got a car spinning. William Byron into the inside wall. We're going to stay green flight racing. We got one lap to go. Sponsored by Credit One Bank. It's Daniel Suarez versus Kyle Larson. Can Larson get to his outside? He looks inside now. 
coming to th three and four. Suarez is going to get the lead and win the race as Daniel Suarez wins the Code Red 200 over Kyle Larson and Chase Elliott. How about that? Good final laps there for Daniel Suarez and the 24 camp is in disbelief at what happened. No caution for this incident here on the backstretch as Ryan Newman, Newman just drove right through William Byron. Oh my goodness, that's definitely not going to go over too well uh, in the coming weeks for William Byron. It's got it's a big decision to make for William Byron. Is he just going to let that slide or is he going to stick up for himself? I think we'd all like to see William Byron stick up for himself in that situation as Ryan Newman turns him. And then Daniel Suarez, the winner in today's race at Fremont, burns it down. Last year he had a great car as well, got wrecked out late in the race. A little bit of a redemption story here for Daniel Suarez in Fremont, Indiana, as he is a playoff driver now. He joins Martin Schubert Jr. in Miami. And funny enough, Suarez drove that 19 car last season. Now for your point standings, Kyle Larson is at top. Martin Shurix Jr. just 5 points out. Daniel Suarez is 7 points out. Eric Almarola 9 points out. Chase Elliott 11 points out. Uh, these points are really going to be tight here for these first couple races because obviously not many races have been run. And here's your uh, 12th and 13th is the cutoff. Carter Adelman is right there with Kyle Busch. Just 1 point out. Matt DiBenedetto had a rough day. Uh, he's now 2 points out of the playoffs. Brad Kozlowski, four points out. William Byron, four points out. Now you're 21st through 31st. Some big names here. Uh, the reigning champ, matter of fact, in 29th, Eric Jones. Joey Logano, 31st in points. Got Alec, Alex Bowman, 25th in points. Jimmy Johnson's 23rd in points. Ryan Blaney out there, 21st in points. It's been a rough go of it for Ryan Blaney. Involved in two crashes so far and two races this season. Now your race results. Daniel Suarez grabbed the victory today. And Chase Elliott finishing second. Kyle Larson was second coming into turn three and just totally lost it. I think he tried to overdrive it catching Suarez. He ends up finishing fourth in today's race. Kurt Busch climbs back up the 15th after getting spun out. Martin Truex Jr. I believe finished inside the top 10 after that pit penalty. Then Kyle Busch dropped all the way back to 19th place. There's William Byron uh, gut-wrenchingly going to finish 23rd in today's race. Ryan Blaney finishes 24th. Joey Logano 29th. So next week, we will see you at the Nike Motor Speedway. This is JG24, JM26, signing out.